Hey folks, this is Matt once again. Welcome back this is to another review. Thank you to Classic Rocker. And this is Into the Sun, starring Michael Pere and Anthony Michael Hall. Nothing to do with the Steam to go Into the Sun. Or wasn't there, a, is that Into the Sun, A Race of Sun, something with Halle Berry? I forget. But this is the one with, again, Michael Pere and Anthony Michael Hall, which is pretty much Top Gun meets the hard way. And I like Top Gun. I like I love The Hard Way with James Woods and Michael J. Fox. John Batham directed I really enjoy that film. Just pretty much Anthony Michael Hall is an actor. Sort of a spoiled actor. He wants to be... He's doing this film about the Air Force. So he enlists the help of the Air Force. And they pair him with this pilot played by Michael Pere to teach him the ins and outs of the Air Force. And at the beginning of the film, yeah, oh, it's directed by this guy named Fritz Kirsch. Same guy who directed the original Children of the Corn, weirdly enough. <laughs> and I think, I know my friend Mike OCP reviewed this film. I think he mentioned that there's some stock footage from other films, like Flight of Black Angel or some other films. Uh, that there is some footage. I mean, he would know more than me because he's seen all those films, but my friend Mike OCP Communications. So I'm not sure which is stock footage and which is their footage. But I know like Michael Prey's character, that he's doing some fun maneuvers with his buddy. That actually does like a loop to get behind him to win this game. But then there's like some bad guys and there's some tension. But because they get over their own you know, safety zone, a fight doesn't break out. And again, he's, Michael Prey is put to be a technical advisor on his Air Force movie, and Anthony Michael Hall is come in, comes in. Uh, Terry Kaiser, Bernie from Weekend of Bernie's, is Anthony Michael Hall's agent, and he's a lot of fun, kind of a sleazy type of agent. And there's some fun stuff with the whole... I think Michael Prey and Anthony Michael Hall really did a good job. I, I enjoyed this film. Right off the bat, I'm going to say, Into the Sun I thought was a fun movie. That was an entertaining film. It was a low-budget film. But that was an entertaining film, especially for Michael Prey and Anthony Michael Hall. I thought they played off each other well. They played with the whole thing with, uh, for example, they, they're they at a dinner, and they ask Michael Prey what he thinks about the script. And he's like, well, I'm not a critic. And I think Terry Kaiser or someone goes, everyone's a critic. And he goes, well, you know, there's some technical inaccuracies. And then Michael Prey goes, you know, like at the end here it says, this is the dialogue. I'm going down, and I'll be flying higher than I've ever before, straight into the sun. You know, if I was going to die, I would, go, I would say something else. And Anthony Michael Hall's like, well, what would you say? Well, if I was going to die, I'd be saying something more like, oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit. <laughs> and Anthony Michael Hall likes that. And Ian Terry Kaiser's like, you want to pencil in, oh, shit, shit, shit. Okay, okay, I will. <laughs> So that's the stuff I liked about this film and the stuff between Anthony Michael Hall like when he hears Michael Prey talk about their co-sign, you know, their signs and everything like that, Anthony Michael Hall is like, you know, all this stuff, this is this about penises? You know, all these double entendres? Huh? You know, can I use that? <laughs> Sorry, I had to make a little edit there. But as I was saying, you know, it seems like, uh, you know, he's out asking uh, Michael Prey all these questions, and then he asks about... It seems like anything that he does, he does it better than Michael Prey thinks. Like, for example, he's in the simulator. My, Anthony Michael Hall actually does very well. He's in this tank where there's oxygen deprivation, things like that. You know, I mean, stuff to simulate when you're high above. And Anthony Michael Hall does better than Michael Prey. Michael Prey tries to fake it, but you realize that he's not doing... <laughs> that well and has to give up first before anything Michael Hall and so Michael Prey gets jealous on that. Like why is he doing so much better? And of course Michael Prey is in, in love with this woman and he thinks Anthony Michael Hall is going to steal from her. It's going to steal her away from him. So he gets jealous of Anthony Michael Hall. As she tries to make him do push ups, it's like, Yeah, clap behind your head when you do them. What? That's how we do in the Air Force. <laughs> and ultimately it ends up with that's sort of the first half of the film. That's the fun stuff. Then it pretty much ends to <clears throat> Eddie Michael Hall's character throughout the film says that he's got to be in a plane. He's got to go up in a plane. Michael Prey says it's not a good idea, but ultimately it does. 
And while they're flying, his buddies are in trouble. His buddies are in trouble, including the guy that we saw at the beginning. And even though he has Anthony Michael Hall, he goes forward and in order to save his friends. And he saves one. He's not able to save the other, but he at least saves one. And they get hit, and they go down. They're behind enemy lines. <coughs> of course, Anthony Michael Hall, he's worrying about, oh, damn it, my hairline's receding. <laughs> Uh, and, it, you know, he, first they go their separate ways, and before that, it's like, you know, you, Anthony Michael was like, well, you know, it seems like you had a problem with me, and, you know, why don't you let it go? And Michael Prey is honest, and then Anthony Michael Hall is like, yeah, finally, we're starting to communicate. It's beautiful. But like, Anthony Michael Hall, it was fun to see him in this kind of role. And I thought, again, Michael Prey and both of them did a very good job. I think that really was makes the film work. Then they separate, go and because they have an argument, and then Anthony Michael Hall, some bad guys get up to him. Uh, Michael Parade gets there. Then they get kind of rescued, but instead they get turned in because these guys turn them in to the bad guys in order to get some money. And then we introduced to uh, sort of one of our bad guys, played by Lyndon Ashby, who is an American, but he's sort of a mercenary. He's the guy who was flying around. We didn't see his face, but his sign is dragging and uh, he's the one who shot down one of Michael Prey's buddies like I said one of them survived but one of them didn't that was because of Lyndon Ashby's character and Lyndon Ashby's character I, I like it Lyndon Ashby this is the guy who's Johnny Cage in Mortal Kombat the first Mortal Kombat movie then it's like well I'm not doing the sequel because Johnny Cage dies in the first five minutes I'm like I don't blame Lyndon Ashby he did another shitty movie called he did a shitty movie called Blast, which is another shitty movie which I reviewed and ranted on. But I don't blame him for not doing more Kombat Annihilation because that's how it was in the video games, folks. More Kombat Two or whatever they said that Johnny Cage died. It was one of the more Kombat games, so that's why they did it. So Johnny Cage is like fuck that. I mean, uh, well, Lyndon Ashby says fuck that. I'm not doing that, and I don't blame him. I don't blame him at all. I know Pepsi for a difference. And Lyndon Ashby, I, I like him as an actor. I like him in this film. He wears these glasses. Yeah, one time he has his shirt that says, I heart airplane noise. As in, I love airplane noise. And he's eating chips. And he's a cocky guy, but he's a very quiet guy. He's not yelling. He's not angry. He's a very quiet guy. Talk to Michael Prey. The only sad thing is he first appears at like an hour and five minutes into the movie. And this is like a 90-minute movie. So it's sad that he appears so late, because I liked him, but he's not in the film too much. I mean, combined total of, I don't know, five minutes? Which, I mean, this guy be an interesting bad guy. Just, I wish he was in the film more, and he came into the film sooner. <coughs> but pretty much the bad guys want them to, you know, say this stuff. And at first, Anthony Michael Hall, you think he's going to say it, but he's like... You guys are nuke this fucking place off the map. But then, because they are torturing Michael Prey, he has to say it. And um, the bag, the guys who sold them to those guys before, they realize that Anthony Michael Hall is a famous actor, so they come back and break them out. Because it's like, you know, we'll sell you to the studio. They'll pay more. <laughs> Which is true. They would pay more. It's true. <laughs> and... Then you think Michael Prey's going to get hung, but he gets saved, and Anthony Michael Hall mentions that he told them that you were the cigarette king. <laughs> um, yeah, this fun scene with, again, a Jeep, and Anthony Michael Hall's driving, and Michael Prey's shooting bad guys, and looks like a lot of real stuff, practical stuff, practical explosions, ending with they get a plane as a single seat, so Anthony Michael Hall has to wedge him right behind Michael Prey, and... You know, they fly back, blow up the runways, get in a one-on-one -on -one with Lyndon Ashby. Um, this, again, shows how cocky he is. He destroys others because he wants a fair one-on-one -on -one fight. And they play chicken, and Michael Price here is dodging and shoots Lyndon Ashby and fucks up their plane. And, uh, you know, there's other stuff that happens, but 
at the end of the day, I really enjoyed this film. I thought this was a fun movie. I thought it was an entertaining film. I thought Michael Prey and Anthony Michael Hall worked well together. I liked those two as actors, and they played off each other well. The Some fun dialogue. I mean, you even have the classic Michael Prey saying, you know, it ain't over till it's over. Yeah, it's a cliche, but I always liked hearing that line. You know, especially in Rocky Balboa. What was that from the 80s? I think that's from the 70s. I always remember that from Rocky Balboa. But, you know, it's a cliche line, but I like that line. Some fun bits of dialogue. I, did, I like the that idea, the hard way meets Top Gun. You say Top Gun, Iron Eagle, whatever. But I like that idea. I think it's a fun idea. It's played off each other well. The action scenes, I, did, I don't know how much the flying scenes, which is stock footage and which is not. I really don't. But the stuff on the ground, you know, like the stuff with the Jeep and stuff, were well enough done. Went at a decent pace. I didn't get bored with the film. And overall... Entertaining movie, fun flick. I'm glad I saw it. I'm, uh, I know my friend Mike and uh, Efri, I think they both enjoy the film. I'm glad Classic Rocker sent this to me because I got to see this film and I enjoy it. It's definitely, just say, of the ones he sent me, one of the ones I liked the most. So, Into the Sun, I really enjoyed it. Then he came straight to DVD, straight to video, I should say, in 1992. Just want to make sure it was 1992. Yeah, 1992. Just want to see something. See something real quick. Race the Sun was that film I was talking about with Halle Berry and James Belushi and Casey Affleck and Eliza Dushku. Huh? Race the Sun, not Into the Sun. That's what I was thinking of. I haven't seen it, but I've heard of it. But um, I liked better than Steven Seagal, Into the Sun. <laughs> but yeah, I enjoyed the film. Yeah, apparently it, it says uh, 1992. Straight to the video. At least I think so. I don't think this came in the theaters at all. But yeah, I thought it was well done. Again, the writing wasn't too bad. Just look up the writers real quick. John D. Brancato. Brancato. Wow. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, he actually helped write Watchers 2. I like Watchers 2. He helped write the game with Michael Douglas. I really enjoyed the game. He helped write Terminator 3 and Catwoman and Primeval and Turn of Salvation. Wow. And apparently he's attached to Triple X, The Return of Xander Cage, which I'll believe that movie if, if it ever comes out. I don't think it ever will get made. I really don't. I would love to see it. The wife, the bad taste of fucking State of the Union out of my mouth. I rarely see that, that new fat, you know, well, Fast Furious movies, well, after what happened Paul Walker, but I rarely see that, that new Reddit film, because Reddit was disappointing shit, but who knows, maybe another Triple X would be disappointing shit, but I don't know. Triple X, I would love to see another one with Xander Cage, I miss that, I like that character, but anyway, I'm getting off topic, but anyway, thanks for watching, take care, Into the Sun, I enjoy, and we will see you later.